Welcome back. It's still the breakfast on Plus TV Africa. Our guest is already standing by. Uh, Oponabo and Kutaria joins us live via Zoom uh, from Port Harcourt, River State Capital. Uh, Mr. Kutaria, good morning to you. Good morning. Thank good you very morning, much. Nigeria. All right, all right. Um, the Independent National Electoral Commission, as we all know, has uh, today is expected to conclude or has concluded rather the reconfiguration of uh, the bimodal voter accreditation system, BVAS machines. Uh, used for the February 25 presidential elections um, and national assembly elections as well. Now, this is to enable them to uh, use these devices for the March 18 state elections. An official of the commission uh, disclosed that the machines uh, being amongst the sensitive election materials would be or will be deployed by INEC to the state offices for before deployment to the local governments, wards, and uh, polling units on election day. We hear that the Nigerian Air Force uh, are airlifting these devices to the states uh, around the country. Now, on Monday, it was reported that INEC um, had re revealed that over 170,000 uh, polling unit results from the presidential and national assembly elections um, held on February 25 had been uploaded to its result viewing portal, IREV. The uh, electoral body had added that the reconfiguration of BVAS would be completed by Tuesday in time for the March 18 governorship and state assembly elections. Um, so what are we to expect uh, in the forthcoming elections? Uh, Mr. Nkotaria is here to give us his expert analysis, as always. Thanks again for your time, Mopona Boy Um uh, Do you expect anything different from what happened on Feb February 25, on March 18? You know the Bible says, can anything good come out of Nazareth? So can anything good come out of INEC this time around? Well, considering the high blood pressure of Rhetoric we got from the INEC chairman and the uh, first Zukoye before the presidential election. And um, only to realize that after the elections, I mean, it was just uh, an anemia of concrete performance. A lot of us, our hopes have been dashed and dreams shattered. Rigging, the mistake a lot of these people make is that they see rigging as a normal thing in, in an election. They forget that rigging is a coup covered up with niceties and complexities. It's a coup. We thought that the beavers was going to uh, help us realize our democratic health by expanding the cancerous incident for. But that was not the case. Rather, what we saw was an illicit intercourse between INEC and the government, INEC and APC. That was what happened. And the product of that illicit intercourse is the emergence of Bola Mekinobu as the president elect of the tribe. I know that the Supreme Court will have done that because the fraud is seismic, the electoral fraud is seismic, and uh, it is one election that will be stenciled or the metal sheets of the holding generation. Never in the history of this country have we had it this bad. Not even under uh, Morrissey. Never in the history of this country have we had it this bad. So in the forthcoming general elections, we hope that we're not going to hear those reasonable excuses anymore. INEC was given billions of naira for the conduct of this election. Not a cover was deducted from what INEC requested for. Not one cover. Even when Nigerians were groaning we are faced with that uh, brilliant policy, no doubt about, but badly implemented policy of uh, currency change. INEC was giving preferential treatment. That is the truth. Because the INEC chairman himself attested to that fact that monies, the CBN had just released money. So there was no excuse whatsoever, other than connivance and complicity. In this forthcoming election, which is the government's election, I just hope and pray that INEC would have realized its purported mistakes and will go ahead to ensure that where you have just one polling unit, a uh, one policeman, a, 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 a example, hypothetically, one policeman at the polling unit and the policeman feels overwhelmed. Now I keep four. Because you have the army, the civil defense, you have the police. Now I keep four. If the ones close to the polling unit, do not have guns. The ones outside the polling units have guns. So if you say the thugs 
invaded that area, led by any politician, notwithstanding his status. If you say the Turks invaded that area, the ones with guns could stop them. They could be intercepted because they are armed robbers. That's what they are, armed robbers. They could be intercepted. And whoever pushed up, shoot him. You need to take some drastic steps to cure certain drastic cases. If you stop, because it, it's a tongue, he has gone. If you stop, you shoot him. Then arrest his so-called leader. This thing will stop. Not when they run away with the ballot papers and so on. You come back and the beavers machine, you come back and say, oh, this was what happened. This was, it will continue. What are the what are the steps you're taking to deter this person? What steps are you taking? They run with the ballot papers. Look at in some areas, I think in fact that too, they are yet to announce the results. Unless they've announced yesterday or this morning. Mm. We must end this madness and this month. In the last presidential election, I have a conviction that is not in INEC China. I have a conviction that is an illicit intercourse between the INEC chairman and uh, uh, APC. There is no way, no way, APC would have won the presidential election in the state. Not possible. And to tell you the level of connivance, look. Even if they are giving it to P2B, I would have accepted the result. Yes, I am particular. But if they are giving it to P2B, I would have accepted that result. Not Bolamet. No way. Not reverse people. I'm a reverse man. Even the uh, um, governorship campaign council is dissociating itself from Bolamet. Then who will go ahead and vote for Bolamet? It was rigged. Rigged. So they must take steps. Because the INEC chairman, look, I, I hope they'll come up with more stringent laws. The INEC chairman cannot do say, must be able, yes, he has to do it. You cannot monitor from your office. Then you leave that seat for somebody that can monitor from his office. Mike Guinea monitor from his office in the acquired bomb election. He monitored from his office. You must have trusted persons in your office that will monitor and give you results. Why did you give him one That was how the professor was sentenced to jail. And the other one is still facing trial. It is easy. What did they do? They allowed the likes of Mike Gini and Co. to go. Because they want to entrench fraud. That's why they allowed the likes of Mike Gini and Co. to go. If they want to send the likes of Mike Gini to the West. What has he done? Just how many years? They say, no, go. You're too, you're too tough for us. That's why they allowed people like that to go. So in the forthcoming, uh, and is it, sadly, I must say this, Kofi, sadly, the most important election in this country is the presidential, unlike in every in other uh, civilized climate, where the man wants to know who his local government chairman is, because he's closer to the grassroots, or at best, his governor. But in Nigeria, where the president is a dictator, not an autocrat, because we have presidents that have this pension for disobeying court order in subordination to the judiciary. The judiciary has no executive powers. <coughs> Excuse me. It is the executive that has executive powers. So you give a law with that. I listened to, uh, well, Gabba Show, who came on there to lie to Nigeria that Mr. President has ever disobeyed. What of El Zazak? What of Inam Dekanu? What of Dasuki? Dasuki, the president even came out to say, He's still going to detain Dasuki for security reasons. You cannot flout court orders. If you are going to detain Dasuki, you apply to the court and tell the, tell the court, give reasons. If it's cogent and verifiable, the court will oblige you. Because even the, the, the whole essence of justice is to ensure security. So they will oblige you. You don't just sit back and ignore court orders. Look at what is happening with Naira Court. They call it Naira Swap, but which is not when, when in actual fact it's confiscation of your Naira. What is Swap? I give to you, give to me. Now I give to you, I can't even have access to you. Look at what happened. Then the president is coming out. Why, why did you come out to say uh, 200 Naira should be legalized, should be a legal term? Then now the Supreme Court said, no, all to 31st, you keep quiet, you're mute. No, you are not even. You can just, you could have just called the CBN government to my friend implement that thing. Everywhere he fails to implement, he should go in the head and implement. The Supreme Court has spoken. You are mute. You are mute. I go out to say you never. When we have myriad of cases here, Mr. President, has disobeyed flagrantly the debate. And that's why I say, Kofi, that 
In this immunity clause, there should be an addendum. What is that addendum? Once a president disobeys a judge, not high court, not court of appeal, but Supreme Court, disobeys a judgment, an order from the Supreme Court, that should be made an impeachable offense. It should be made an impeachable offense. That should be a ground for impeachment. But you have grounds for impeachment. Okay. Um, I hope Nigerians will understand that there is a great difference between impeachment and removal. Impeachment is just official indictment. When you say impeachment, but proceedings leading to indictment before removal. So right. it should be a ground for impeachment. Okay. So uh, that uh, there should be some level of sorry. Very interesting uh, points yes. you made. Um, <clears throat> the NEC chairman, Mahmoud Yakubu, has um, uh, been speaking well, you know, since the... the uh, presidential elections and the um, uh, uh, the charade, if you want to call it that. Uh, he said that Beavers, Beavers will work well for the state and the governorship elections. He's given Nigerians so assurances. Uh, this was after the uh, declaration of Bola Ametin was the president-elect. And he, he said that uh, they've intensified their review, that INEC has intensified, intensified the review of the technology used uh, for the beavers to ensure that the issues they faced particularly with uploading of results will be sorted out and he says that the commission is confident going forward that the system will work well in the governorship I, and state I, assembly I, elections i i blunt further of the second rhetoric i have to go rhetoric i have to this question. you you use the beavers in the off-season election you had mock trial of the beaver. You told Nigerians that the beavers will be used and the beavers are working up optimally. That's what you said to me. And that was why a lot of Nigerians in the diaspora. All right, Oporobo uh, Gutara, can you hear me, please? If you can't, I'm sure probably it's a network glitch. We will uh, uh, try to get back to him in a matter of seconds. Um, we'll be prompted. I'll be prompted when he comes back uh, uh, on. Um, it's a network issue. <laughs> Maybe that's what the beavers faced, <laughs> you know, on that day. But, um, uh, you know, that, that's what the ANEC chairman, Mahmoud Yakubu, has said, Professor Mahmoud Yakubu has said, is that uh, they have done a review um, and uh, they're in, they've intensified, they had an intensive review of uh, the technology and they've, they're have going to ensure that uh, the issues that they experienced, ANEC experienced uh, during the February 25 presidential and national assembly elections will uh, be a thing uh, of the past. Um, of course, yeah, there are five things that INEC has, uh, is going to do ahead of the governorship election. They um, uh, have organized refresher training for ad hoc staff who took part in the last election. Refresher training, a refresher training for ad hoc staff who took part in the presidential and parliamentary elections in Nigeria. Of course, one of the complaints, um, uh, I'm told we have Opuna Boy and Kotaria back on the line. Mr. Kotara, if you can hear me, um, sorry about that uh, network challenge. I'm sure um, we can all understand it happens. Uh, please unmute your device so that we can hear you well. And then, then you can please proceed um, with the point okay. we're making. Okay, but in Kotara, Mr. Kotara, the, the commission is, as um, one of the things that they, uh, the one of the complaints that we heard from uh, political parties was that, and, 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 and uh, observers, was they felt that uh, ad hoc staff of ANEC were not really conversant with their processes and procedures. They were not even really conversant with the laws um, guiding the elections and what they were meant to do. We can see that in some instances, people took their phones to the polling booth. In some instances, people uh, raised up their, their uh, ballot papers to show you know, um, the press. In some instances also, uh, like had, uh, Mr. President, Mr. Yes, Mr. Yes. Mr. President. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And in some instances, you have to go there. Uh, you know, the media shoot. houses, press, the press were, were allowed to follow um, uh, uh, politicians into the booth and film them and to see what they were doing, which is against the law. You know, so um, do you think this refresher training that ANEC has conducted for the, it, its ad hoc staff would uh, change anything, uh, especially looking at the fact that some of these ad hoc staff have been accused of intentionally uh, looking the other way? Kofi, like I said to you initially, like in the beginning, we've lost it. There's, there's the last chance uh, for Mahmoud Yakubu to redeem his image. Because there is no shred of respect, not even a symptom of it, for the INEC chairman, right? If he doesn't know. You know, um, Marizu, he gloriously was removed 
and I, I don't know if you heard of Mori Zuru again after them. Some people, a lot of them forget that whatever you do will live with you and after you. They forget. Mahmoud Yakubu was one man that was highly respected, well written. But the presidential election rubbish is what it is. But we, we are not interested in the details. If you want me to be interested in the details, then bring the ballot box to my house. Bring the people to my house. You are paid for that job. You should like get ideas on how best to run manage your election. You've been given every cover you need for that election. Sarah, you see, even in 2019, even in 2019, they were giving billions for the server. When they went, because I we already lost that 2019 election. When they went to court, and they denied the use of the server. And the court said it was not part of the electoral act. Electronic voting was not part. The problem I have in this country is that our courts give judgment and they don't deliver justice. I'm very sorry to say, most of them are corrupt. Corrupt. They deliver judgment, but they don't, they don't give them, but they don't deliver justice. It's very simple. I've said it here. Now, you're going to tell me that you've learned from the past one, which is the most important election in the country. You have colluded to rig that election. You say you've learned because the governorship election, yes, it's as important. But in Nigeria, like I said, the most important election is the presidential because our Nigerian presidents are autocrats. They are dictators. So let us get this, no problem. Once we get it, we know what to do. Most times you can't even see the president dictate to the governor, unless you have an obdurate governor who says no, who is what is on you, who knows his on you, who say no. So now I is satisfied. It has delivered the country to a man and a part of his son. A man, not just a man of his son. Now he's telling us what what happened? What were the loopholes? What were the loopholes? You did off season elections, or sure and so. You did mock trial. What again are you going to do? Okay, Mr. Secretary. Uh, you, want, you, want to know. Yeah, you, you what, talked about. What, what was the problem? And you know the you know the most annoying thing, Kofi. I met has been silent. It was silent for almost two weeks. Okay, Mr. Secretary. Yeah. Communication, communication Please permit me to take you back to something you said earlier. Um, you said that they should have deployed more police officers. Mm -hmm. You know, at the polling, you know. Uh, yeah, I said all that. Yeah, yeah at, the, at the polling uh, units and uh, uh, no, the polling no, not units, not po units, polling not stations. Units. Yeah, centers. Uh, polling centers. Units, sorry, yeah. It's yeah. against the law. Yes, to polling centers. Sorry. Men. Yeah, yeah, I said polling yeah. stations. Yeah. Polling. But um, uh, this it could actually be possible, looking you know, at the fact that we have elections holding in just twenty-eight states. So um, that would be minus minus. Um, uh, minus minus eight states, plus the FCT where they don't have a governorship election, and I don't think they have a, a House of Assembly. So that would mean minus nine. Um, but even if you have a, a double up of police officers, it could be alleged or has been alleged that um, the police, and it's been seen, are uh, being part of the rigging arrangement. So no, that no, may, no, not, you, may not may not We look at a quiet bomb state you, where so the military no, arrested I, police I officers. Agree with you. I with, agree uh, with you, Kofi. Yeah. I completely okay. agree. Like, like, no, the part, okay, sorry, it was on your sister station I made that point. <coughs> I said, for example, Kofi, you are in um, Plus TV now. Even if you are not going to say it on air, or even to police, you already know if you have to discharge certain functions, who to trust in Plus TV. Kofi? Hello? Yeah, we can hear you, sir. Please go. Okay, please tell them to delete the arrow in the Okinawa. They should respond to it. Okay, uh, okay. Sorry about that, please. Sorry no about arrow. that. No, 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 it's okay. It's okay, my dear brother. We all make mistakes. I'm not bothered about that. Yes. Now, if, like I said, you're in plus TV, you might be friendly with everybody there. They might not even know your preference. But when the chiefs are down, you know who to confide in. You know who to uh, ask for assistance and so on. The INEC chairman should do so. Because you know this excuse of, I'm at the top. 
So you don't expect to know everything. Yes, you are the top. I don't expect you to know everything. But that's why you have the lieutenants. So if you don't get the feedback from the lieutenants, then your lieutenants are corrupt. If, for example, something happens, because IBP uses this excuse with people's back, actually, it was orchestrated. They architected fraud. And when they asked, I said, uh, I didn't know this. And I said, say, can you can imagine a person? You are managing this small place. See? Now, I said, that is no excuse. When something happened, it has happened in the last one. That is the presidential. What steps have you taken? Like I said, Mike Guinea did in Aquabi. What steps have you taken that will serve as a deterrent? It has happened. You mentioned the policemen. Have they been arrested and are they being prosecuted? And if they have been arrested and prosecuted, then it should be made public. It cannot be done surreptitiously. That will rekindle the confidence of Nigerians in the process. Because any policeman that is arrested and not prosecuted publicly, he was actually acting at the behest of the IG. If you are writing a, a petition, that will not to you. not the IG or the city. When it's a good thing, you take credit. When it's bad, you, you say you disown it. It cannot work. You don't try to pick it as well. Okay. So, so Mr. Nkutura, are you talking about that prosecution? Yeah. Excuse me. I'm trying to I'm sure that we can address it. If yeah. those policemen are arrested and prosecuted, no other policeman will do it again. No amount of money will pay to him. That's the point I'm making. I mean, even in River State, there, there, were, there were videos going yes, around. Yes, you said the rivers are not working at all. Yeah. You have experts in technology. Yeah, I mean, if they come and say no, there's nothing wrong with independent work. There's yeah, but but, but the, the question uh, is but who who, who will arrest this policeman? I mean, saying, Kutara, even in River State, there are videos of policemen who were. I taking, know, that's what I'm saying now. Yeah, I to rig elections, celebrating. And I mean, the rivers in Karen, the rivers in Karen, the yes. ballot uh, papers, yeah, so, Beaver. Yeah, you saw them, I agree with you. So, who is going to go after these police officers? <laughs> that's a big question. And we have it's to go, but now. um, uh, but, well, I like he said, policeman. No, Kobe, I'm very sorry to say that was not a police officer, it was a policeman. We, we should make a distinction. Let's try and correct it. It was a policeman. It wasn't a police officers are from TSPs. It was a, that was a policeman. Yeah. Now, yeah. the policeman was it not detailed? Don't they have records? Before you send the policeman out, it is recorded. So what are we talking about? There is no excuse other than complicity and connivance. Before you send the policeman, it was recorded. From your station, you before you assign somebody to a beat, you see no record there. You say, you go there. There is presidential brief, briefing. You just say, uh, there is presidential briefing. You just be quiet. Anybody goes and calls. We are not just talking of a roving journalist. We are not just talking of somebody who just went out to source for news. But we are talking of a situation where you have to send somebody, detail somebody. You know who you sent. So if they say, Pulling A, we're pull, pulling unit A. There is this problem. You know who to call. And in this particular case, thank God for technology. You have the video. So what is happening? Why would we know what has happened to that policeman? You tell me you're, you're investigating. Okay, what are you investigating? What are you investigating? And the policeman will not mention the politician that asked him to do what he's doing. That politician will also be prosecuted. That's the way you stop it. That's the way you can stop this madness. Because it is a tool. Rigging is a tool covered up with niceties and complexities. All right. Uh, it's, it's it's a, we, we, we have to go. We have to go. We, we're out of time. But um, uh, I mean, the issues are so much, so many. You know, I mean, from I next time. That's a portmanteau of them, my brother. It's yes, yes. I mean, we've seen video evidence of, of, of uh, politicians tearing, destroying ballot papers that are uh, not, you know, voting for their party and all that. Giving police officers money, uh, thugs threatening voters and chasing you, them, and all that, and nobody so has been arrested. Where a policeman <laughs> was guarding somebody that was to people to vote. Yeah, yeah, it, it is unfortunate. We, we have to go. Uh, open up, Kutara. Thank you so much for your time. Uh, remains to be seen what will happen on Saturday. Some have said they won't come out to vote because they feel their vote will not count. Um, maybe we might it's see. Let us just settle. There is a party now. Mm -hmm. Nobody believes Yakub Mahmoud anymore. Mm. That's the so truth about it. He's going to hide his head. His head is shame. Mm. Nobody believes that man anymore. He's a disgrace. All right. You you tell right. Thank you so much for your time. In, in the meantime, you there is action in River to, State you where you, you are. The, um, <laughs> I just saw recently a young man I know who is in the APCM. 
representing the youth wing of the party is endorsing uh, the PDP governorship candidate. And it's a bit confusing with Labour Party as well. Uh, PDP has its own issues. I mean, it's all confusing. We'll, we'll, we'll get back to you subsequently. Thank you so much for your time and have a wonderful day. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Kofi. And good morning, Nigeria. All right, we'll have more discussions ahead and of course up next to we'll look at uh, the latest inflation figures released by the National Bureau of Statistics and of course um, the effect on an already struggling economy. Stay with us.